Welcome back to the channel. I don't really know what type of beat I want to make. I just know that I'm in the mood to make some R&B or trap soul, kind of mix them together, see what we come up with. When it's your favorite type of beats to make, you make a lot of tutorials about it. So that's why you're seeing more trap soul, more R&B. Let's go. All right, I'm going to keep this at 140. We can adjust it later. I am going to use Keyscape for this. Switch up the preset. We're going to use this classical preset right here. Just a little Valhalla reverb on this. You know, I like to run a lot of my pianos in the reverb. Just gives it a vibe. So I'm going to record something on the keyboard and then we will see where we go from there. I'll be in A minor, C major, just all the white notes. I'll figure out what I'm doing later, but let's go ahead and record something. All right, so let's change the key real quick so we can see the notes in scale. So we are in A minor for this. The first chord we built out right here is an A minor ninth chord, two spacings, three, two spacings, three. This is the triad right here, the A minor triad, A minor seventh, A minor ninth. Then I did that chord again, but what I did was flatten the fifth right here. Then we drop over here to a F major ninth chord. So you'll see right here, three spacings, two, three, two. Right here, F minor ninth. We have the F minor triad, F minor seventh, F minor ninth. And it's that repeating pattern, three, two, three, two. And then this one, same chord, but I took the third right here and brought it up one octave and played it up at the top. So now let's take these root notes and let's duplicate them. So I'm gonna just hold shift and then shift click, control down arrow like that. to go like bum bum I like that Ooh. what if we just go down one to G sharp This right here, especially with the velocity, so powerful. That's a beautiful chord, bro. All right, that's all I want to do for that because what I want to do is get a vocal in here and then I'm going to render it out the same as we did in the last tutorial. You could keep these simple if you have a solid chord progression or melody, add a vocal, render it out, and start adding effects to it. You really want to leave these trap soul R&B beats open melody-wise. I almost messed that up. Every time I say R&B beats, you want to leave them open for the artist. So you definitely want to add your melodies, but you want to make sure that you kind of stay out of the way of the artist. I like to get creative with the effects. It adds more complexity to the melody without adding more melody to the melody, which leaves room for the artist. So let's go find Find some vocals for this all right so i mess around with velocities and a little bit of the timing but i also want to change this root note of this last chord right here because these are the same chords i think changing this root note up to like something like f sharp will help out It loops nicely back in all right for these vocals we're going to go into the brand new breathe vocal suite that is finally out 140 unique vocal phrases and runs 100 royalty free this is a collab kit with tianda land and we got all types of vocal phrases and vocal runs in here all these folders have the dry and processed versions and there's a whole bunch of different vocals in here so really i'm gonna just play this it is gonna be out of key but i'm gonna just try to find some vocals that match you feel like getting faded I can feel your heart, 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 heart beat I wanna see you here at midnight Coming over for me like you Now we're sleeping underneath the stars Oh, that would be fire Riding down the street and going on the weekends Ooh, I love hold on. Weekends I Okay, let's get the pitch right So this is in G sharp minor This is in A minor So this actually just needs to go down by one Let's see. I feel like because of the spacing in the beginning and it lets that first chord play, this actually might work really well. Doing things only you taught me, even when other guys want me. Doing things riding down the street. Got a couple vocal things in here. Weekends, I love oh, 
Oh yeah, that's going crazy. So it's just a little bit of altar boy. So it's a a little bit of <laughs> a little bit of little altar boy. A little bit of little plate, and that's brought down. This is just an effects chain that I have saved, and then some EQ here. Anytime I make like some trap so like vocal effects chains, I always save them just so I have them. So that's why you see like I have a bunch of different ones in here. So much emotion to this. Yeah, I think that's it, bro. I'm not even gonna lie. All right, let's export this out as it is. Control A, Control Alt C, just so we could get something started. And then what I wanna do is turn this on stretch right here. We're gonna pitch it up, but I wanna reverse it. And then I'm gonna cut this up. So hit C and then cut every, what is this, two bars? Yeah. And then what we need to do is have this go backwards. So we're gonna start from here to here, just like this. And then what I'm gonna do is one of my favorite things is fade-ins, just give it like a little bit of like a ducking feel, side chain type of feel. It's magic, bro. Oh, this could already go so many ways. Let's pitch this, let's go up. My favorites up by seven. I always say up by seven works perfect for these. It's not too high, but it's not too low. It's like a perfect balance. Let's see. Oh, I could already hear the bass. Hold on, with some effects, I'm gonna show you that effects chain I was talking about. This is crazy. Let's go over here, and where is it? Can I get it before the loop? Come on. That's crazy, bro. Portal default setting. I'll be able to tell right here. Yeah, digital tape toys down on like 10, 11%. The first one's brought down a little bit too. Then we have some reverb, some EQ. The reason Portal sounds really good is because there's all these spaces that we left, like here, uh, over here, a little bit in the beginning here, and then the fades we're adding just lets Portal breathe. And I feel like this has just been my go-to for getting trap soul samples, R&B samples to just really sound unique is this right here. And you know, anytime I find some new stuff that I'm doing, I'm gonna share it in tutorials. So I don't even get to use it myself when I find like some processing that I like using because I immediately make a tutorial. That's just kind of how I always done it and then share it with you guys. But this is already sounding crazy. I'm going to throw a bass in here real quick because I can already hear this going crazy. I got some drums loaded in. This snare right here is actually from a new R&B kit I'm working on. Hi-Hat Sky is from the Doomed Multi Kit over here. And then Kick One is from Broken Hearts. Let's add some portal to this hi-hat. So let's go over here, portal. And I'm using digital tape toys as always. Let's bring this down. Let's see what this sounds like so far.
If I do it again, I don't know. Let's see what happens. Kind of works. And with the kick. Ugh. That actually might be one of the best kick patterns I've ever made. Ooh. This is crazy. There's so much room, but so much happening. The two hits, space. And then like a switch up. I'm not gonna lie, I really like how this beat came out. I am gonna have it up on streaming platforms so you can listen to it. I'll have a link to that in the description. As always, appreciate you watching. If you're interested in any of the kits used in today's video, there'll be a link to those in the description as well as the link to the Breathe Vocal Sample Library. Till the next video, peace.